Well, hey guys, today is going to be an awesome day. Max and I are going to introduce a brand new one sticking platform for you. This is the UP, stands for Ultimate Platform. Also, also it's uh, developed and uh, innovated and built and designed by some guys in the Upper Peninsula in Michigan. That would be the Eastern Woods Outdoors guys, Dano, if you will. Um, we're going to go over it in depth. We're going to show you the uh, square footage, the you know how wide it is, how much it weighs. And then we're going to compare and contrast it a little bit to the original Ultimate One Stick. And we'll also, I have the new revised Shawan car here. We'll show you a little bit of, of, of the differences on, on each of these. We're going to spend the bulk of our time, though, on the UP platform. So stick with us. It's going to be a good one. Okay guys, here we are at the tree with the uh, new UP platform that Eastern Woods Outdoors has come out with. This is going to be offered in addition to the Scout that comes on the Ultimate One Stick now. So I uh, want to point out that this is not a replacement of that. This We're going to show you where this positions. Uh, you know, there, there may be a time when you want to order this one or the Scout or something else, okay? but. Uh, it, it's a really cool little platform, guys. As you can see, it's got integrated standoff. So, so on the old, uh, the old Ultimate One Stick, you had the standoff back here. Well, now the, the standoff is integrated as part of the platform, and he's designed. Dan has designed this so that it is the exact same angle as the the standoff here, so that when you put it on the tree, it's still exactly up and down, perpendicular to the tree. So again, the the standoffs are integrated into it. You've got more foot room because of that. There's actually a hole here for the uh, for the integrated handle as well, so you can pull the handle out, which is really nice, very thoughtful. If you're if you're one sticking, if you haven't if you haven't one sticked yet, uh, a handle is a big deal. If you don't have one integrated into the the tube like Dan provides here on the Ultimate One Stick, and, and now the this uh, UP platform has has a uh, uh, access to it. If you don't have that, you're probably going to have to use a 12 inch or a 24 inch gear tie, something like that, to reach out and grab it. Uh, that that's, it just makes it easy to reach out and pull it pull it up when you're making your moves. So this has has an allowance for that right there on on the uh, the hole right through the middle of the UP platform. Also, you'll notice one thing that's really sweet as a one sticker. If you go back and watch my one sticking the details video on our channel, you'll see that I'm a big advocate of, of putting the uh, the platform up and using the rope to hold it in place as you're throwing throwing the you know throw, throwing the rope around the tree and everything else like that. Um, this actually has a groove cut out and it's very polished and very smooth here so there's no sharp edges to nick your rope and we'll show you that here in just a second. That's a really thoughtful uh, thoughtful addition to this. Again extremely super uh, just everything's integrated it's bulletproof it, you, it's not going to be able to twist or flex. We're going to show you that. We'll walk around on it and put some side pressure on it. I'll hop on it. But this, there's just absolutely no way this thing can twist or flex because everything is integrated and built into it. it. It can't twist on the stick because it's going to be pushing into the tree. Now, if you notice here that I've got a hole here because this is a prototype. If you do get to look in, at this video and go, oh my gosh, the welds are a little heavy or whatever, okay, this is absolutely a prototype for me to give feedback on it and also to show you guys what's coming down the pipe. But uh, the welds are going to be cleaner. This, uh, this hole right here, I didn't drill it out. Uh, there, there's actually the hole here. It, you see that the hole in the front and the hole in the back don't match up. That's just because this is a prototype. The new ones that are going to come out that you will be available to order really soon, those holes will match up so it's a plug and play option. You take off your old angled or flat scout if you've already bought one. You can take that off, order this, and actually literally plug and play. Put it in there two bolts in the back of it, and again, integrated sand off, it's ready to rock and roll. So uh, let's put this on a tree and sh give you a little bit of a close up about it. I'll show you walking around the tree here. I mean, as I said before, while we were standing on the ground, literally, there's there's no way. I don't know if I can even jump out any farther than that. Let me. That's as far out as I can go, guys. Ugh. 
I can't put any more side pressure without risking slipping and busting my shins. I mean, there is. I mean, guys, there, there is no way. It, it's literally, if it moves whatsoever, it's because it's going into the bark. And it's really not even doing that. So, I mean, it's literally an impossibility for it to uh, shift or twist or, or flex. The nice thing about it, you've got all this foot room. And we'll, we'll show you a close up here. I mean, there's quite a bit of, quite a bit of room here. But then you've got this angled front. Pretty comfy, really comfy actually. So it does a lot of what uh, what people are kind of looking for as far as the the dual purpose. You're seeing some other platforms come out with flat and angled. You know, the, the Monarch obviously did that, that, that Matt has come out with on his show sh one car. This is a very similar concept, but uh, taking it to the next level, to be honest with you, it's really, really firm, really solid. So let's make a move with it and show you how we do, how, how that little hole comes into, into play here. So we can grab our handle. Pull it up, ease out the rope. Totally solid. And what I'm gonna do, guys, is I'm gonna lean out from the tree, put the stick there, and then let it come back, back in. Now that that cutout, my rope is directly in it just perfectly. Now here's the cool thing too. Because of the angle that lets you push off on this. It actually acts as really nice handles. I'm going to go ahead and put my weight in it, make sure it's set perfectly good. Now I've got these handles here, just going up. It's just an extremely, extremely solid platform. Well, hey guys, here we are back in the archery room. We've got everything laid out. Basically, small, medium, and large, if you will, if you want to look at it like that. So we've got the uh, the original Ultimate One stick that's been out for, I don't know what it is, five, six months now, something like that. The Monarch that's in, on top or sits atop of the Show One car that Out on a Limb has, has uh, released and, and recently revised. We're going to spend a little bit of time talking about the revisions and the improvements on that here at the end of this video. And then what we're concentrating on today, the, the UP, the Ultimate platform the new offering from Eastern Woods Outdoors that will give you a couple different choices in the original Scout in both flat and angle and then the UP which is a combination of both Re really cool offering here got a lot of dimensions a lot of weights to cover so let's get to it uh, the ultimate I'm gonna slide these two back and, and, and pull out the uh, the ultimate one stick if you will I'm gonna measure off of a flat surface and I do that on purpose guys it gets a great baseline a, a great equal comparison of everything that I do when, when I'm comparing products like this. So if you if you go off of the flat surface all the way back here to the back or the top of this, you're looking at seven and three quarters from a flat surface back. Now, what you gotta realize is that encompasses or includes this angle. So if you really wanna be fair at the flat surface that you can, you've got as a standing surface as you're going up, you're making your moves, you're just standing to, uh, you know, to, to take a leak or to turn around and take a weak side shot, you know, there, there's all reasons, there's all kinds of reasons to stand up and move around as, as, a, as a bow hunter. Uh, if you go off that flat surface, you've got basically five and a half inches to this weld or that bend. Five and a half inches from the back of the tree to where it makes its downturn. Then that downturn provides another two and a half inches of space. So five and a half inches, it is 10 inches across. So 10 inches across. And then out here you can see that it basically uh, goes out like a trapezoid triangle, right? It great, gives great areas to push off, to get around the sides of the tree. Uh, I, I really enjoyed that as I was running it and putting it through its paces. You've got, it, it, go, it angles all the way out to 13 and a half inches. So from 10 all the way out to 13 and a half, five and a half from the tree, 10 across there, 13 and a half there two and a half on the angle itself. So I think that gives you about every dimension that you would ever want to uh, look at here. Um, so so let's, let's jump over to, to the Monarch. 
The Monarch will be sold on DoubleSteps.com, Eastern Woods Outdoors. Both URLs will take you to the same website, whichever one you type in on your web browser, right? But, but the Monarch is going to be sold as a separate platform, available and, and be, be able to be fitted to one-inch tubes. You know, you're talking your B-sticks, your Featherlight sticks, Muddy Pros, uh, Lone Wolf, stuff like that, okay? So it will be available for that. Uh, you'll be able to buy it there on that, or you can order the whole complete Shawan car from Out on a Limb, as I have here. And this is the revised one. We're going to talk about some of those changes that were made. But if you go from the flat surface all the way back, uh, you're looking at six and three quarters inch total from a flat surface to the top. Now again, that includes this angled down part. And, and what Matt does is he gives you a little bit less on the stand-up part. You'll see I kind of almost stand on my tiptoes as I'm on this, this flat part here as I'm climbing a tree or making a move, but you've got more on the angled part. So, so with a flat, you're up to four inches to that bend, four inches from the flat surface of my archery bench to where it makes that bend. But then on the, uh, on the angle part, you've got three and a quarter inches, three and a quarter as opposed to two and a half on, on the UP. Now, width-wise, you're looking at about uh, nine and seven-eighths from, from the outer ears, if you will, nine and seven-eighths, and then it tapers into eight here in the middle. And those those tapers basically afford you the same same thing that these these taper this this outside angle does on the UP. It gives you a great place to push off on as you're maneuvering around a tree for a shot, spinning 180 degrees for a weak side shot, or just walking yourself around for a top shot. So re really really nice there. And then going back, I think that's all the uh, that's all the measurements I wanted to give you on on the Monarch. Um, and then the old, the old Scout, the, the OG, right? You've, you've basically got a uh, three and a half by ten and a quarter. Three and a half by ten and a quarter. And, and that probably, mine are flat. It probably won't change even if it's angled. It's going to be about a three and a half by ten and a quarter. That's your surface area. The, the difference is, because of the standoff, you, you get a full eight inches away from the tree that you're supported by on your foot. So, so you do get a lot of support. You can put your toes up against the, against the tree and, and you, you get a lot of room there even though it's only three and a half inches wide. Um, so, so that'll give you a little idea of the, the varying, varying dimensions of everything. What do they weigh? Uh, that, that's a biggie, right? A lot of, a lot of people want to know, okay, so I get a lot more standing room, a lot more platform, platform square inches. How do they compare and how do they weigh? The old Ultimate One Stick, the one that we uh, took to the woods as soon as it came out. In fact, we actually built ours before it became a package about that same time. Hunted off of it extensively November, December, into January. I killed a, killed a buck off of it in, in January. First day of January. Started off the new year with, with, a, with a kill, right? So, uh, so one of the latest bucks I've ever killed in my life. But um, it is 2.7 pounds. You've heard me say that over and over in some of the one sticking videos. 2.7 pounds. The Shawan car one stick, 2.86. 2.86. And then the, the ultimate one stick with a UP on it comes in at 3.7. So 16 ounces difference in all of these. 2.7 for the old ultimate one stick with the with the scout. And 3.7 with the uh, the UP. Now the UP will be available to purchase independently by itself as well. So if you've got an old Ultimate One Stick, or, or if you're just building one and you're wanting to piece it together, right? But let's say you want, you've already own an Ultimate One Stick and you want to uh, retrofit it. Take this, take the Scout off. Uh, I mentioned out there on the tree the, the two holes, that here are the two bolts. They will be drilled exactly so it's a plug and play system. Take these two bolts out, remove the, the standoff, and it just pulls right off at that point, just like this. So take, take that sand off, off, remove those two bolts. You can slap the UP on it at that point. Um, it is the, the UP by itself is 32 ounces, but you're getting to cut out a standoff, which is four ounces, four minus 32. You're looking at 28 ounces uh, that you're really adding on to a stick. So uh, if you bought the Monarch by itself, it's 20 ounces. So a Monarch, and, and you will need a standoff with a Monarch, okay? So 20 ounces for, for the Monarch, 28 ounces for the UP. So, so 
get you a little bit uh, more clarity that they're they're closer in ounces and weight than you would think. So not, not a whole lot of difference there. You've got to make the determination as a hunter, do I, do I want streamlined eight ounces less? Do I want a little bit more foot room? And, and let's be honest, I mean, it, there is zero flex or twist, and I think if you put that Monarch on a one-inch tube, it's going to reduce it even further. That 5 8 inch billet just is prone to twisting and flexing. There's, there's no question about it. Um, what would it cost to buy the UP? Okay, uh, They're setting the price at approximately, right now, they're, they're tweaking and everything, but they're looking at around $119 is where the UP is going to come in at. If you've already got an Ultimate One Stick on order with a flat or angled scout here, if you've already got one on order and you, you watch this video or you see some other things on, on, on the forums or online or whatever, and you go, man, I, I, I wish I'd ordered that UP, call up Nano, uh, send an email to the guys at Eastern Woods and say, hey, I, I want to swap out the flat or the angled scout and put the new UP on my Ultimate One Stick. It'll be a $20 upcharge to go from the old scout to the UP, about $20. And, and what that means for you in totality is, you know, without an Aider, an Ultimate One Stick is about $229, I believe. It means you can get the Ultimate One Stick with the uh, with the UP somewhere in the neighborhood of $249, maybe subject to a little tweaking at the end. Um, Two-step Aiders from from Dano from Ultimate from uh, Eastern Woods are I think $22.50. So a two-step Aider. So add that to the overall finished cost. You're looking at, you could pick up a, uh, an Ultimate One Stick with the UP and a two-step aider, just as you saw me putting it on the tree, for less than $275. So, so that's, that's somewhere in the ballpark of, of what you're looking at there. Um, we expect, they, they expect the, the Monarch it is not in stock yet. They're waiting on delivery of the Monarch that's milled out for a one-inch tube. I believe Matt had some at the Iowa show. When, when the boys at Eastern Woods get some uh, in stock, they're probably going to go in the neighborhood of $99 to $109, somewhere in that neighborhood, right? You're looking at $119 approximately for the UP, so, so roughly just $10, $15 more, or something like that for the UP. So it gives you a good idea about, about that difference, price difference. So uh, getting back to the Swan car. So one of the things you'll notice right up front is that I have attached a Schaefer cam cleat in lieu of that so that sail cleat or that clam cleat. And, and one of the things you'll need to do uh, to do that or accomplish that with, in addition to the cam cleat itself, obviously, is a couple grade eight bolts. So to save you a little bit of consternation and worrying and looking around and running all around town to various different department stores and hardware stores, I can tell you that. Uh, I ordered mine. I looked around all over the place. We did not have them at Ace Hardware, didn't have it at Lowe's, Menards, all the typical places you would go to, Tractor Supply. So I ended up ordering them from, from Fastenal. And the part number for those two grade 8 bolts that work on this and that, that Matt tapped and, and uh, tapped the, the stick for, um, part number from Fastenal is 24216. They were 10 32nd inch bolts, uh, 1032. And they were an inch and a inch and three quarter long, one and three quarter inches long. That was perfect. They come out. I mean, just you can just barely feel the end of the bolt through the through the backside of the uh, billet aluminum that way. So you'll need those two bolts. Uh, one other thing before we take it out on a tree and put it on there is I did learn from the first time uh, because of the width of the aider, it does lend itself to sagging a little bit when you put your foot in it. So I ordered this this uh, two-step aider, I ordered it just a little bit shorter. I went from a 19 to a 17. And of course, you're going to get about two inches of sag, which made it a 19-inch uh, step aider. Uh, worked out about perfect for me being 5'10", having a 34 uh, inch inseam. So uh, for comparison, if you're wondering how you would fit on that. So let's take it out to a tree and uh, show you some of the changes. We'll talk you through uh, how it improved from version one to version two. Okay guys, we wanted to uh, bring the show one car, I guess that's what it's been called, the Shakar one stick, whatever you want, however you want to refer to it. But uh, we wanted to bring it out to a tree and show you because it is vastly improved. Obviously, if you watched my first video of the first release of this, uh, I pointed out there was there was some room for improvement, right? Well, the good thing about Matt is he went back to the drawing board and did take my suggestions, some of the other people's suggestions to heart, and came out with a much better uh, revision. Now, I'm going to point out the three things that I really kind of honed in on with him. We texted back and forth. We worked together. Uh, a lot of it was mostly him, but he did listen, and, and i got to give Matt props for that because this is a much better version, okay? The first thing he did was he took a 
uh, punch a hole through the top of the Monarch platform. This little square right here is actually the billet post of the Shakar one stick coming through and it actually is, is level here with the top of the of the Monarch platform. So you can see it comes all the way through. The bolt comes out right here directly underneath the Monarch platform and it also barely fits into the top of the Monarch platform and then it's a smooth top. So what that does guys is that really super stiffens this platform up. You guys remember, you can go back and watch if you if you don't or if you haven't seen that video, this thing twisted and flexed, flexed pretty severely, okay? Um, so, so that's a huge major improvement. Also, the, the one stick that he sent me was fairly long. I mean, when Gabe and I opened it up out of the box, the first thing we both looked at it, we were like, wow, that thing's long. And, and if you're not a one sticker, you don't realize the advantage of having a short stick. Now, obviously, there's packability issues if you're going to put it on each side of a backpack or something like that. But in, for, for all intents and purposes, the shorter a stick is, really all a one stick is is, to, is a placeholder to hold the top of the platform and a place to hold the bottom step that, that contains your aider, right? So by shortening this up, not only is it lighter, it's, e it's more maneuverable, it's easier to handle and carry into the woods, but it also, again, lent itself to stiffening this up considerably. Okay, we're gonna put this on a tree here in a little bit and show you. Also, Matt is now including, if you ask him, and I don't know if this is gonna be a standard feature or not, I can't remember, but he drilled it out so that I could replace that, that uh, sail cleat the uh, clam cleat, if you will, uh, that was coming stock with that, he drilled it out so that I could put the Schaefer cam cleat on it. Much better improvement, okay? And then what I did was I ordered a rope from Luke Dottel. Did I get it right, Luke? So Luke was on me because I was mispronouncing his name in a few videos. So Luke Dottel makes these ropes. Uh, they're the same rope that's available through Eastern Woods Outdoors, doublesteps.com as part of the ultimate one, step, one stick package. But I got one of his ropes and I put it on there. Now I've done this a couple ways already. I've played with this for extensively. I've had this for a couple weeks and I've been playing a bunch for it. You can see it's, it's dirty because I've just been bouncing around it all over the trees. It, Matt still sends this top hat on there. Now, again, he recommends if you're going to put this, use that top hat, you want to go around the post and then come back this way when you're going around a tree. Okay? Actually, the easiest way to do it is to not even use the top hat. And I'm going to show, show you that. The easiest way to do is to girth hitch it around itself, right? Then you can just put it on the stick. and girth hitch it right there below. Because of the really nice textured um, finish that Matt puts on these, where he powder coats them, if you'll notice, once you pull this tight, it's not going anywhere because of the textured powder coating that Matt puts on there. At that point, you could just go ahead and remove this top hat. In fact, if I were personally gonna order one of these right off the bat, I would tell Matt, only drill it for the Schaefer cam cleats. Leave the top hat off. Don't drill it for that because now if I remove this it's going to have a threaded hole right there, right? And then you've got an extra hole for that cam cleat. Don't even put that on there. This is how I would run it directly if I was going to use this and buy it brand new, okay? So let's put it on a tree. Now, is it as solid as the UP platform? Probably not. You can see it move a little bit. Just, see, there's your flex right there, okay? So it is still going to flex some. I've set it about as hard as I can on this tree. No different than I did that Ultimate One Stick, the uh, UP platform on it. You're going to see that it, it has drastically less flex than it did before on the first video I did. The first look at this. I'm trying to lower myself out so I can kind of show you. See, it does... And it, it's... More so almost that it's pulling the standoff off than it is flexing. It's just got a little bit more movement to it. And that's probably a byproduct of just how solid that UP is. Everything's integrated together, whereas this platform is different than the standoff. So that integrated, integrated platform just gives it that little bit more rigidity and just a little bit more solid feel. But it is also a pound more. So that's your trade-off. We talk about that all the time in saddle hunting, pros and cons. You got your, your pros, you got your cons. 
you got to decide what's important to you. If super solid, tremendous stability is what you're looking for in a one stick, that UP is your go-to answer. If you want something lighter, go with a Scout on an Ultimate One Stick, or this this uh, Shikar is a good option as well. And it's got the Monarch platform. It's just see, watch it give. That UP will not do that. Plus, you've got a little bit more foot room on that. You can see my two feet basically take up this whole platform. Okay, guys, let's wrap it up with some closing thoughts here. Uh, you know, we basically give you a, 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 a choice here of small, medium, and large. You know, the the, the small one, the 2.7 offering, the, the ultimate one stick with the, with the flat scout or the, the angle scout. It's been our go-to hunting method for, for a while now. The last three months of the year, you saw that. Uh, you know, of course, we were testing other products in between and out there and use them a lot, but, but this is our go-to. This is what we will be walking back into the woods again next year, I can guarantee you that. Uh, the, the UP, solid offering. You know, you only, 16 ounces more is all it is, and you get a ton more foot space. You're still at 3.7 pounds. That's, that's a, a really good weight to hit and get all that extra room plus the combination for those guys who are worried you know do I sit, do I lean, do I get an angle scout, do I get a flat scout get that and you don't have to worry about it and, and you got a lot and you talk about you cannot get more solid on a tree than that I, I'm telling you from a one sticking perspective so uh, it's, it's awesome and the Shawan car greatly vastly improved since that first release uh, you know shortening the stick putting the cam cleat on it at least in my opinion uh, you know and, and you don't have to do that Matt's still going to send it out with the sail cleat I think Trevor Bird offers a 1 8 inch full berry that will work a lot better with that with that sail cleat than the strap did so uh, if you want to stick with that sail cleat reach out to I think Trevor's company is called uh, Custom Am Steel Products and it's a 1 8 inch berry reach out to Trevor he'll, he'll hook you up on that but uh, I just preferred the uh, Schaefer cam plate and just went straight to that. So uh, anyway, guys, great, three great choices. You know, the, the great thing about saddle hunting today is our choices are almost becoming unlimited. We've almost got too many choices. And I see people talking about that. They're like, oh, my God, I'm, I'm, I'm overwhelmed with all the choices. You know what? Go, go through it. You can resell it uh, easily. Find what works for you. And then just practice, practice, practice to get your system down. And uh, go, go kill some deer and wade in some ditches and float him out. <laughs> anyway, we'll see you guys on the next one around.